Welcome. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you 6 equals t divided by 2 plus 3. But before I show you that, one thing I want to remind you is you know, the importance of doing these problems and practicing them um, and over and over and over again. And I know we don't like it because actually I did this video um, outside and I really liked it. But the problem was I just had problems with my audio I couldn't fix. So I have to do this problem all over again and reteach it all over. I'm a teacher. I'm used to it. But you know, the whole fact of like doing a problem again, I immediately thought, I'm like, oh, I got to do this problem again. But it's just the discipline to stay with it and to keep on practicing these problems. And you know, for you, especially as you're learning, that's where you're going to get over that hump to be able to, OK, all right, I'm finally getting this. Even though you might think you understand two-step equations, you have to keep on practicing. So that's, I mean, I put these videos up here so you can use them, but make sure you do a lot of practice on your own. So enough with that. Let's get over to uh, this problem. So remember, by using two step, uh, solving two-step equations, we have to use the inverse properties, uh, I'm sorry, the reverse order of operations, and then use inverse operations. So the reverse order of operations, um, the first thing I'm going to want to undo, the first operation I'm going to want to undo is now going to be addition and subtraction, because that um, is on the reverse order of operations, addition and subtraction was last. Well, when solving equations, it's going to be first. So I look and see for any addition and subtraction that's happening to my variable. What is happening to my variable that I need to undo? So remember, I can get this variable by itself. We need to isolate the variable. So I have a 3 being added to my t. So I'm going to have to subtract a 3 on both sides. Remember, we use the subtraction property of quality, meaning I'm going to subtract on the left side of the equation and the right side of the equal sign. Um, and that's going to produce an equivalent equation, meaning the answer has not been changed. 6 minus 3 is 3 equals t divided by 2. And then positive 3 minus 3 is 0. 0 plus t over 2 is t over 2. Now I need to look at what's happening to my variable. And I can understand that it's being divided, right? Because the next thing you want to look for is addition or multiplication and division. Well, I see that my variable is being divided. So I'm going to multiply by what it's being divided by, which is 2. And I have to make sure I multiply on both sides by using the multiplication property of equality. 2 times 3 is 6 equals, now remember, look up here. I have t divided by 2 and then multiplied by 2. Well, if you look at those, remember, the operations are undoing each other. So t times 2 divided by 2, and that equals 1. t times 1 is just t. So you can see, now that my variable is isolated, I say 6 is equal to the value of t. Or as we like to write, just rewrite it as 6 or sorry, as t equals 6. So there you go. Hope that helped you out. You got friend and me.